If your penis is shorter than seven inches, you've probably felt the silent pressure that many men carry, as if that measurement defined your value. And that pressure doesn't always come from others. Sometimes it starts in the mirror, in the comparison with other bodies, or in the distorted ideas we absorb throughout life. The problem is that this kind of pressure weighs heavily. It ruins pleasure, erodes confidence, and creates doubt where none should exist. Today, I want to show you why this matters. Because what people call the ideal size is often just a number repeated without any real foundation. And what truly matters is somewhere else. We're going to talk about desire, pleasure, connection, and above all, the truth behind so much insecurity. This can't be hidden, nor can we ignore the impact this topic has on the lives of thousands of men. I'm a urologist with over 15 years of experience in men's sexual health, and in this video I'll clearly explain what science really says, and how this information can change not only the way you see your own body, but also how you experience intimacy. Before we continue, check if you're already subscribed to the channel. This content is made especially for men over 50 who want to regain their vitality, improve performance, and feel more confident day to day. If what you've heard so far resonates with you, hit the like button. That simple gesture helps this video reach more men who are also searching for a turning point in their sexual health. And I want to hear from you. Comment yes if this topic interests you, or I want more if you have suggestions for future videos. Your participation is what keeps this channel alive and relevant. Some men live with a constant feeling that they're falling short, even when they're not. Comparison is cruel, especially when it happens silently, fueled by images that don't reflect reality. A lot of men watch adult content and end up believing that everyone else is bigger, stronger, more ready. And that's where fear is born. Fear of not satisfying, fear of being rejected, fear of hearing a truth that often doesn't even exist. One of the most memorable cases I've seen was a man who came to my office saying he had a child-sized penis. He spoke with such conviction and pain that I expected to find something truly unusual. But during the exam, I saw a normal adult penis, perfectly within average size. His distress wasn't in his body, it was in his mind. That kind of thinking often comes from negative experiences in childhood or adolescence. Sometimes it's just one careless comment from someone who had no idea of the damage it could cause. And when a man holds on to that for years without talking about it, the weight only grows heavier. Unfortunately, many live like this, believing a lie repeated so many times that it feels like truth. A lot of confusion starts because most men don't even know how to measure properly. And worse, they end up comparing themselves to numbers they've heard without knowing if they're accurate. So let's be clear, to measure penis length, you should place a ruler or hard tape measure on top of the penis, gently pressed against the pubic bone, and measure to the tip. This should be done when the penis is fully erect or, in some cases, stretched gently. As for girth, what many call thickness, it's measured by wrapping a measuring tape around the widest part of the erect shaft. If size has made you feel insecure, doubtful, or under pressure, my digital book might be the next step you need. In Rediscovering Intimacy, Healthy Sexuality, after 60, I've gathered practical guidance for men who want to rebuild confidence, reignite desire, and free themselves from comparisons that only get in the way. You'll learn what really influences pleasure, how to overcome physical and emotional blocks, and most importantly, how to build a more satisfying relationship with your body and with your partner. The link is in the pinned comment. Grab it while it's still available. Now here comes the most important stat. According to the largest meta-analysis ever conducted, with over 15,000 men, the global average erect length is about 5.2 inches, and the average girth is around 3.7 inches. So if you're anywhere in that range, you're exactly where you should be. These numbers aren't a competition. They're meant to provide clarity, especially for those who constantly doubt themselves. And before someone says, I saw another study, it's worth noting that many papers have tiny sample sizes or questionable methods. When the research is serious, the numbers tend to align. When a man believes that female pleasure depends solely on size, He's ignoring what science and real-life experience have shown for years. Most female orgasms are linked to clitoral stimulation, not deep penetration, and the clitoris isn't hidden deep inside. It's external and easily accessible. So no, a long penis isn't necessary to reach it. In addition, the female sexual response is more complex. It involves touch, attention, emotional connection, and the overall atmosphere. A mechanical encounter without emotional engagement rarely leads to true pleasure, no matter the size. 
And this is especially true for mature women, who know their bodies and what really works for them. The idea that only a big penis can satisfy is kept alive by old myths, bad jokes, and distorted media. But when we actually listen to women, seriously, the story changes. Many of them prefer a thoughtful partner who takes his time and explores their body with care over someone who focuses only on penetration. Female pleasure is broader than most men realize, and understanding that changes everything, especially a man's confidence in the moment. The vagina isn't a rigid tube with a fixed size. It's an elastic organ that naturally adapts to the partner's body. At rest, it typically measures between 2.7 to 4 inches in depth, but during arousal, it can stretch up to 6 inches or more. That's because a woman's body is designed to welcome, adjust, and create comfort, making pleasure possible. That elasticity allows women to have pleasurable experiences with partners of different sizes. There's no fixed rule stating that a certain length is better or worse. What matters is how the body responds when arousal is present. The more connected a woman feels in the moment, the more her body responds with openness and natural. Lubrication. That's why men don't need to obsess over numbers. Adaptation isn't just physical, it's emotional too. A body that feels safe, desired, and respected is much more willing to let go and enjoy the moment. And this applies to both partners. Knowing that the vagina naturally adjusts can lift a huge weight off a man's shoulders and helps him realize that there's so much more involved than a few millimeters on a ruler. A curious study caught attention when 75 women were presented with 3D models of penises made of blue silicone, a deliberate choice to eliminate any influence of skin color. Participants were allowed to observe and touch the models before selecting their preferences. And here's the most interesting part. They were asked to choose one ideal model for a casual hookup and another for a long-term relationship. The results showed a small difference between the two scenarios. For one night stands, the preferred average was about 6.4 inches in length and five inches in ha girth. For longer relationships, the numbers slightly dropped to 6.3 inches in length and 4.8 in girth. But it's important to highlight something essential. Even though it's an interesting study, it has limitations. First, the number of women was small. Second, they were all young college students. Third, the choices were based only on visual and tactile perception, not actual sexual satisfaction. None of the women had sexual contact with the models. In other words, what was being evaluated was aesthetics, not real-life pleasure. And as much as this study is frequently mentioned, it's far from representing all women. Preference is not the same as need, and appearance doesn't determine performance. When talking about desire and satisfaction, the focus should go beyond measurements and numbers. True connection involves a combination of factors that create unique chemistry between two people. Intimacy goes far beyond the physical. It's built on trust, open communication, and affection, expressed in small gestures. And it's this emotional connection that forms the foundation for mutual pleasure. In a relationship, both respect and the time invested in getting to know each other play a key role. Feeling valued, heard, and understood helps create an environment where anxiety about one's body can fade. When a man allows himself to relax and express himself without worrying about comparisons, both partners can explore new forms of intimacy through touch, kisses, affection, or honest conversations about desires and needs. Humor and lightness also play an important role. Laughing together, embracing imperfections, and showing vulnerability can transform intimacy into something much deeper and more fulfilling than any measurement could define. In short, what truly sustains desire is human connection and the ability to turn simple moments into meaningful experiences. When comparing length versus girth, many studies suggest that thickness tends to have a greater impact on physical sensation during intercourse. The pressure the penis applies to the vaginal walls can enhance stimulation, especially near the entrance. That's why some men with slimmer penises feel insecure, even when they fall within average range. And when self-esteem is affected, it impacts not only performance, but the willingness to experience intimacy with pleasure and confidence. The good news is that today there are safe and minimally invasive options for those who genuinely wish to. Improve girth. One example is hyaluronic acid fillers, applied by trained professionals. They don't require surgery, provide temporary results, and can be adjusted over time. It's an option for those who want to feel more comfortable in their own body, without false promises. What matters most is understanding that self-esteem isn't just physical. A man who takes care of himself, who values his well-being, who seeks knowledge and emotional growth, is already ahead. The decision to do something for yourself should come from the desire to live better, 
not from the pressure to fit into a standard that, more often than not, doesn't even exist. You've seen how the weight surrounding size often comes from comparison, misinformation, and distorted ideas that build up over time. Once we understand what truly influences pleasure, connection, and self-confidence, a lot begins to change. And that change doesn't start in the mirror. It starts in how you see yourself, how you treat yourself, and how you approach your sexuality. We've talked about average sizes, the impact of girth, female pleasure, and most importantly, how all of this is far more connected to emotional security than to a number on a ruler. Now tell me, has there ever been a moment in your life when you felt like you weren't enough because of your size? If this video helped you see things differently, leave a like. It shows us this kind of content matters and helps reach more men who need to hear the truth. And if you'd like to dive deeper into this topic, there are more videos on the channel that speak clearly and respectfully about sexual health, performance, and male pleasure. If you haven't subscribed yet, now's the time. I'll see you in the next one.